Let's dig into the world of using photographic umbrellas. Now, what's interesting about umbrellas is, first off, many of the lighting companies supply umbrellas with their lights, so they are part of a package if you get, you know, one light kit or a two light kit or three lights and an umbrella and a reflector and, you know. But because they're included in the kits, most people just kick them aside and think, ah, they, if they were included, they probably aren't worth much. <laughs> they're worth a lot. And I'll tell you, there's an awful lot of great, great work that can be done with umbrellas. Uh, there's great news, and the great news is that umbrellas send light everywhere. When you turn on an umbrella and fire off a light, it fills a space. It fills a big space with light. That's the great news. The bad news is it sends light everywhere and it fills a space. <laughs> so that means they're not as controllable uh, as maybe you might hope in some circumstances. But we'll talk about that too. There are some things you can do. Uh, but umbrellas, generally speaking, uh, were one of the first things that I learned to use, uh, certainly for group photography. If you're doing any kind of sports, uh, if you're photographing a group ex of executives at the Chamber of Commerce, whatever it is that you're working on, uh, if you're photographing a small little league baseball team with your children on the team, uh, umbrellas will do the job for you and send enough light to light everybody up. And it's really, really helpful to know how they work. So for me, um, you know, there's, there's a couple of different types of them, and we'll dig into that uh, and talk a, a little bit about uh, the different styles and types that are available. But for the most part, uh, just get comfortable with the fact that this is a really useful tool. They come in a variety of sizes, uh, but they can be very, very helpful for making great pictures. You know, as we talk about these light shaping tools and modifiers, uh, as we dig in and dive in a little deeper, one of the things that they all share in common is they all come in a variety of shapes and sizes and different fabrics. Uh, well, umbrellas are really no different. Uh, umbrellas are critically important for a lot of the work that we do even today uh, on location especially. Well, this one next to me here is a reflective umbrella. So the light comes out of the strobe head, hits the inner side of this white reflective surface, and then it comes out forward and it just literally floods the room with light. And that's one of the, th the, th the things that's really the best about an umbrella is it just floods light everywhere. It's really great. So it comes as a reflect in the reflective uh, version of umbrellas. This is white fabric, of course. It also comes with a silver. So you can get a little bit of a shinier look, a little bit more contrast coming out maybe, a little bit more specular light coming forward. And it's a little bit brighter coming out, two-thirds of a stop maybe. Uh, depending on how, you, how close you are, it might even be a stop of light brighter. But it's really, really clever in the way that you have that ability to do that. So I've got two or three white umbrellas that are this size, and then I've got two or three umbrellas that are silver, same size. Now, speaking of the size, uh, well, speaking of the fabrics, let's go to the next one, which is what we call the diffused umbrella, or commonly known as the shoot-through umbrella. And the shoot-through umbrella is exactly what you think it is. In that use, we turn the umbrella around this way, tip it down, and this fabric is complete diffusion material. So this is, the, this is what we see as our light source, except imagine that as white diffusion material. So it's really, really helpful. I can use a large umbrella, like we now have uh, seven foot umbrellas available by a, different, a lot of different manufacturers. Seven foot umbrellas. You've got to have a pretty big room with a high ceiling to pull that off. But I can do a group of five, six, seven people with one light source. And it's beautiful and it's soft and it's even light across this entire group of people. So it's really helpful to have those large, large umbrella sources. So in addition to uh, that white and silver and translucent, is the variation of size. This is probably the smallest size that I have and that I travel with and carry. I think it's a 32 inch maybe, uh, but they're really, really helpful in that size. And then they start going up. Uh, in the pro photo version, you can get small, medium, large, and extra large umbrellas. And the extra larges are about seven feet and they're big and they're nice. Uh, and I've got one of each, one silver, one white, one translucent shoot through. Uh, but it makes them really, really valuable and very useful as one of the 
one of the most used tools in my bag. One of the biggest, one of the biggest jobs in my entire career was uh, working with Eastman Kodak on a project at the United Nations, and we photographed the, the World Millennial Summit meeting, 185 world leaders. Uh, and it was, a great, it was a great job, obviously. Uh, biggest thing I've ever done or ever will do. And, and I've got a whole slideshow behind the scenes of how it was pulled off. But, but why I particularly wanted to bring it up here is we could not have done the job at all, really, very well or very effectively without using umbrellas. And we ended up, uh, my, my setup where I was shooting from was five levels on a scaffold. I was up high, five levels up on a scaffold, shooting across at eight or nine rows of literally world, world leaders, world presidents. And to light them with enough smooth coverage, it required the use of 19 umbrellas. So that's the total number of lights that we had on set with umbrellas. And the umbrellas that we had were five foot umbrellas and it worked beautifully. While talking about umbrellas, I keep saying that they send light everywhere, that that's a good news and a bad news scenario. And, and it mostly is. But I will tell you, as with most of the light modifiers out there, that you can get really good quality. Umbrellas by nature create a hard edge shadow and create a light that is big in its scope, but it's a small source relative to most of your subjects that might be in the picture or depending on where they're standing. But depending on placement, and if you have a large umbrella, for example, uh, and if you've got it relatively close to your subject, you can get beautiful, soft quality light out of an umbrella. Just know that it will, in a small studio, for example, or in a small room, it will light up some of the rest of the room too. It's gonna light the background up. You cannot, uh, I tell people don't use an umbrella in a studio or in a small studio if, if controlling the brightness of the background is critically important to you or the job because it's gonna light the background, it's gonna light the ceiling, it's gonna light the, both walls. Uh, so just be aware that yes, it does send light everywhere, but relative placement, if somebody's really close to this, you're shooting from over here and you're coming this way and this is this close to me, it's gonna be a soft source. You're gonna have to power it down because of the brightness and the, the power output will be pretty great and maybe even too great at that distance. But the larger that source, it goes back to everything that we've been saying about all these tools. The size of the source is directly relative to its distance to the subject. And the umbrellas is no, are no different. It is the law of physics. And so as we increase the size of the umbrella and or bring it closer, the edge of the shadow gets softer, the highlight increases in size and diminishes in brightness at the same rate. It's called the law of the inverse square. And uh, it's something that most photographers know about and can read about. It's all over the internet. Thanks, folks. Hope this has been helpful.